What's up? What it do? It's your boy, Dead Gamer 101, the only one. And welcome to the Gamers Den. Okay, so if you don't know, you should already know to hit that like button and subscribe for more content and things of that nature. Today we got some rumors. Today we got a lot of speculation. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the best way to put that. We got a lot of that going on. But um, first things first though, I want to know y'all's dream team here. So past few days, oh, this past weekend, if you want to count Friday, really, whatever. Um. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z was kind of trending this on, on Twitter, more specifically like Gohan and, and shit. And I ended up coming across a tweet, and it was this picture right here. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, so you got to build, you know, like a little Dragon Ball Dream Team, you know, with fifteen dollars, and you got categories one to five dollars. So I wanted to know y'all's Dragon Ball Dream Team. Out of all the characters they giving us options for in the comments below. And I'm going to tell y'all mine right now. So, I'm going to have to go with Android 17. That's, that's automatic. Android 17 is automatic. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go with Lord Beers. That's, that's automatic. So, what I'm at? $7 right now. You got to pick five people. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Beerus and Android 17. That's a go. Um, I'll put Goku in there. So what's that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's $12. That's only like three people, though. <laughs> okay. Um. So I got to pick like two more people. Ooh. It's out of Gohan and Tien for me, man. Y'all don't even know. It's it's out of Gohan and Tien. I mean, like, cause y'all got Tien fucked up. Tien is like he he the goat low key. I know y'all ain't forget how he was just sitting there, ah, and that nigga sell for like a whole 20 minutes straight. Ah, <laughs> He was ah nigga for like a hundred minutes straight, bro. Oh God, don't don't. Tien is the god, bro. He's the god. Oh, but then no, nah, cause I'm gonna have to pick like either Tien and Piccolo, no, or Tien and Boo. Cause if I'm at twelve dollars. That's three right there. Man, fuck that. We going with, nah, you know what? Nah. Yeah, TN and Boo. TN and Boo. And I was going to pick Gohan, but I'm going to tell y'all why. Because that Gohan they got up on there, what, all, all you can get up to is what, Mystic Gohan with this dude? Yeah, I'm straight. Uh, I'm straight. I'd rather just go TN and Boo. So, yeah, there go my five right there. Beers, Goku, Android 17, Boo, and TN. That's the, that's the Dragon Ball Dream Team right there. Bet my team is smash all y'all's. Put money on it. <laughs> Let's get into the news, shall we? Valve says it's not working on Left 4 Dead 3. R.I.P. to Left 4 Dead in the chat. It was I'm not particularly a fan of zombie games, though. I'm going to keep it a K with y'all. I'm not a fan of zombie games like that. Dead Island was cool. Left 4 Dead is cool. I mean, I guess I kind of got like a, a space for Left 4 Dead because that was the first zombie game I played. But at the same time, it's like, nah, I don't I don't rock with zombie games like that. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's not really zombie games. It's just the whole zombie aspect of the last five years, like last five, ten years. Everybody just jerking off to these zombies. I'm not I'm not with that shit. But um, for the most part, Left 4 Dead was a pretty cool game. Like I said, it was the first zombie game I really played, or zombie-based game. 
And it was it was pretty dope. It was pretty cool. You know, I'm not an Xbox dude whatsoever. That trash box got to go. Um, you know, but it was it, it held up. It was cool. So let's get into it because I know y'all wondering like, oh, I wanted to play another one. Oh. Let's get into it. While Valve is returning the Half-Life franchise after more than a decade with its VR exclusive Half-Life Elix. I'm telling y'all, bro. It's always some type of sound. This year, the company says it's, and I quote, absolutely not developing another heavily rumored game, Left 4 Dead 3. So we definitely not getting no no Left 4 Dead if this is the case. We not we not getting it. It's it's looking like it's cut. In a statement to IGN, Valve said that it and I quote briefly explored some Left 4 Dead next gen opportunities a few years ago. End quote. But that is not working on the new Left 4 Dead now and hasn't done so for years. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 no point in, in reading more of this. It's, it's, it's pretty much no point reading this because it's basically just like between Half-Life and Left 4 Dead, VR and Power and this and Drives and, and shit. And they just like overall like, no, we're not fucking with Left 4 Dead. We're not, we're not with the shits. Yeah, man, so it's it's looking cut for Left 4 Dead, man. R.I.P. to Left 4 Dead in the chat. No Left 4 Dead 3. Um, I'm not really too hurt or happy about that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we should have got another Left 4 Dead game by now as a whole as far as that franchise go. Um, you know, like I said, it was a very impactful zombie game. Like I say, if it's any zombie games I'll probably end up playing or lean towards playing to the most, it will probably be Left 4 Dead or Dead Island. Because, like I said, it's just the whole zombie concept of the past years. Like, okay, we get it. Zombies come out. And, okay, zombies hit. What what do the entertainment and video games do? They give us all these Left 4 Deads, all these Dead Islands, all these knockoffs, all these indie zombie games, all these Walking Deads, all these fucked up, stupid ass fucking shows. That's all the fucking same because it ain't too much zombies is doing. Resident Evil get a pass because Resident Evil is just the GOAT. But still, point being, like, duh, come on. You can't just bombard us with a whole bunch of zombie shit. So I actually want them to not mess with Left 4 Dead for a while. Let it blow over and let people actually crave it. That's what they need to do. If y'all like it, y'all just going to keep pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and get them to make another Left 4 Dead. But um, let's keep going on with this news. Rumor alert, actually. Rumor alert, which I hope becomes fucking true. You want to know why? Because I never got a four when this game dropped. And if this game would have dropped and I had a four, that's all my channel would be right now. And I report. PS4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn coming to PC. My G. If this really come to PC, if it really come to PC, you know what I'm going to do? Do you know how ecstatic I'm going to be? I'm really not going to need a 4. And I'm Sony. I'm I'm the I'm the do I'm the poster child for Sony, and they don't even know. Like y'all don't even understand. Like I'm talking about since birth, Sony. Do you not understand how it is to be at birth with Sony? Nigga I'm talking about the first ever console in your hand is a PS1 with the flip screen on it. Do you not see this? Do you not see this? Bro, are you tripping? Let's get into it, man. Horizon Zero Dawn, a PlayStation 4 exclusive when it was released in 2017, is coming to Windows PC, according to a Kotaku report. Developer by Guerrilla... Oh, wow. 
some of you people who write these shits, y'all got to get better at your English, man. Y'all be off by one word, and it make the whole sentence just be fucking retarded. Developed by Guerrilla Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, Horizon Zero Dawn is a critically acclaimed action role-playing game set in a world with hulking robot creatures. Guerrilla Games is owned by Sony, and its games have been exclusive to PlayStation platforms. Kotaku reported Horizon Zero Dawn will be released on PC this year, the first time it's on a platform outside the PlayStation. The report said it would be on, and I quote, both Steam and Epic Game Store. Though, end quote, though, it may, and I quote, may not be finalized yet, end quote. So, that's why I said rumor alert, because it's no guarantee we about to get this on PC just out the gate. Hey, this is PC, raw, no. I hope it get on PC. Yo, Sony, yo, Gorilla Games, yo, people, y'all see this. Show these people that be like, hey, you need to look at this. Smack them in the face and be like, okay, yeah, we, we got to get this on PC. Because I, I liked how the game looked. I'm a fan of Gorilla Games. If y'all don't know any titles that Gorilla Games was really big with, Killzone was one of the biggest titles that they ever made. I'm pretty sure they got another slew of games, but Killzone was their standout and is a great franchise. Hell, I like it better than Call of Duty. Killzone 2 was the shit back in the day. If you had a PS3 and you had Killzone 2, then you know. But, um, yeah, you know, and, and the fact that they didn't turn around and pulled out Horizon Zero Dawn out their ass, you know, it's, um, that's, it's, I can't wait for what Guerrilla Games do, especially with Horizon Zero Dawn 2, which is rumored to be in the works, which we would assume to be in the works still. But, yeah, man, that's... I hope this rumor is true. I hope it come out on PC because that'll give me a chance to play it. Like I said, if y'all watched the last one, if y'all watched episode three, I'm trying to get another PC, gaming PC, whatever the case may be. That way I can, um, you know, get back to making my Borderlands videos, grinding on Borderlands, teching and all that, all kinds of good stuff. I got that way I can get back to doing all kinds of crazy content for y'all. Now, it's one thing I'm going to need you to do. Get over here! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Animated Mortal Kombat movie, Scorpion's Revenge, launching by June. Say it with me now. Burr. I'm telling you. I'm about to be the first dude to see this shit. I don't care when and I don't care how. Outside of the creators, I'm going to be the first one to see it. I don't know how and I don't know when, but I'm going to see it. If this is true, I hope it's really dope. I hope it's raw. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I even say this, I got to get this started. There's a Mortal Kombat animated film on the way, and Warner Brothers expects it to release before the end of June, the Hollywood Reporter reports. The film is called Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. The voice cast stars Patrick Seitz or Seitz is Scorpion. Do voice Scorpion in Mortal Kombat X in his Tigra and Mumra and Cartoon Network's upcoming Thundercats Roar. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't, I don't know about all that, bro. I don't, I don't know about all that. You, you see my face, bro? I don't, I don't know about all that. Other casts include Joel McHale as Johnny Cage, Jennifer Carpenter as Sonya Blade, Jordan Rodriguez as Luke Kang, Steve Blum as Sub-Zero, and David B. Mitchell as Raiden. Two producers with animated Batman experience are helming the project, Rick Morales and Jim Krieg. NetherRealm Studios' Ed Boone is aboard as creative consultant. Okay, so never mind. I got hope for this. I know y'all was like, why the food is reading? Bruh, cuz I was just reading and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. This might be lit. Cause if they got yeah, if they got, you know, Ed Boone on board and then Yeah, y'all got Rick and Jim. Okay, I alright. I'm with the shits. I'm telling you, I'm with the shits, bruh. I'm with the shits. This shit better be raw. What I was about to say was, this is Warner Brothers, bro. Warner Brothers. Like, this shit better be rated RP. Like, 
rate pending. You have to definitely pass security capture code to watch the movie. Because if y'all if y'all know the DC and the Marvel battle, you can pretty much say the live action Marvel movies is better than the live action DC movies. But nobody is about to say the animated Marvel movies is better than the animated DC movies. You will fucking lie and you got to run my fade if you think that the Marvel animated movies is better than the DC movies. You got to run my fade, bruh. You smoking the best dope available. So, yeah, I'm ecstatic about this shit. Oh, oh, oh it's lit. It's lit. I don't, I don't know, man. It's lit. It's up, man. I'm hype out here. I'm 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 stupid hype about that. Y'all ain't even seen by gas like, huh? Yeah, yeah, I ain't seen it. Y'all ain't seen it. But hey, that's gonna be it for this today's episode, man. Came to y'all, had to deliver the goodness. And if y'all wondering and y'all looking and staring, if you want one of these. One of these hoodies right here that I'm wearing. If you like it and you like, oh, shit, man, my nigga will keep fresh because, you know, I stay fresh to death always and forever. If you want one of these, beg for it in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter or something and all of that. I'm working on hella merch. I'm working on a lot of things right now. So definitely, you know, bug me about it. That way I can get it out to y'all faster. Subscribe, support the channel, all that good jazz. Hit all the links in the description. Links to all of these articles and whatever will be in the description below. And um, yeah, man, it's it's lit, man. Check out everything else on the channel, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna catch y'all next time, man. Y'all thought this was a game. It's every episode now. <laughs>